Today we're going to create a clever text portrait effect where a passage of text bends and warps to form the contours of the subject's face. This effect is particularly powerful when used to present famous speeches by depicting the orator with their own words. It could also be used to produce artwork of musicians and their song lyrics, writers and their stories, poets and their poems, or any other popular figure who is remembered for their words. The process uses just a small selection of Photoshop's tools, with a displace filter and a clipping mask being the key ingredients to making the effect. But first, thank you to Envato Elements for sponsoring this video. Envato Elements saves you time, effort and money with unlimited downloads of premium design and stock templates. We're talking over 600,000 creative items made by the world's best designers, including print templates, graphics, photos, fonts, Photoshop effects, actions and more. Envato Elements literally has all the creative assets you need under one flexible, budget-friendly subscription. Check them out today by hitting the link in the video description below. So to create your text portrait effect, begin by opening your chosen portrait image in Adobe Photoshop. After browsing through some lists of the greatest speeches of all time, I chose to base my example on Sir Winston Churchill, whose portrait is freely downloadable as a Wikimedia Commons image. Trim the pictures to size using the crop tool, so the subject's head fills the canvas. This particular image is already black and white, but if you're working with a colour image, apply a black and white adjustment layer to convert it. The greater the contrast between the dark and light areas, the more the text will bend around the contours of the face. Add a brightness and contrast adjustment layer to bring up the contrast. Select the original image layer in the layers panel, then go to Filter, Blur and Gaussian Blur. Enter 10 pixels. This will allow the subsequent displacement map to smoothly deform the text without any harsh kinks. Go to File and Save As and save a copy of the PSD with the name Map or Displacement Map or Untitled One somewhere on your system you'll be able to find again. The Gaussian Blur isn't needed from now on so use the Command or Control on Windows, Alt and Z shortcut for Step Backwards to undo it. Next we need to gather the text that will be overlaid on the portrait. It's worth copying and pasting the prose into a text editor to delete any space in between the paragraphs to form one big wall of text. Back in Photoshop use the text tool to draw a text box over the entire canvas. Paste in the wording and begin setting up its appearance. If your passage of text isn't long enough to cover the whole subject, simply paste in duplicates. It won't be noticeable once it's warped and deformed. Firstly set the paragraph style to justify to remove the ragged alignment so it completely fills the document without any gaps. Also make sure the hyphenate option is unchecked so words break onto a new line rather than being split apart. The font choice is entirely your preference but I'm using a nice heavy geometric sans named Avenir Next in bold. Checking the all caps option makes every character the same height which helps fill up the space. Different effects can be achieved with larger or smaller text. The larger the text, the more legible the wording will be, whereas the smaller the text, the more clear the portrait will be. I'm using a tiny 2.5 point font size and leading, so there's roughly the same gap between the letters as there is between each line. To produce the desired effect, add a Displace filter from under the Filter, Distort and Displace menu. Choose to convert the text layer to a smart object in the process, which will preserve the editability of the text element within it, should you want to alter it later. Ok the default settings for now, then navigate to the displacement map PSD we saved earlier. The passage of text has been warped and deformed around the contours of the subject's face, based on the grayscale tones of the image. If you notice the words are being deformed a little too much, you can double click the displace filter under the smart object and reduce the scale values. Click and drag the portrait layer above the text, then make it a clipping mask by holding the ALT key while clicking between the layers. To fully see the effect in action, create a new layer and drag it to the bottom of the layer stack. Fill this layer with black using the fill menu or the alt and backspace shortcut. The portrait image is now only visible through the letters of the text, which combined with the displacement filter gives the artwork a sense of depth that brings it to life. Since we created a smart object out of the text element, you can edit its contents to make any necessary adjustments. One such modification might be to extend the sides of the text passage beyond the edges of the document so the words flow into the canvas rather than start on the straight edge. Save and close this smart object file to see your changes are updated in the main document. 
The final result is a detailed text portrait effect where the person's face is made out of words that bend and flow around the contours. From a distance, the effect just looks like an interesting pattern, but up close it becomes intriguing to read the tiny words that construct the image. So if you enjoyed this tutorial or learnt any new tricks, a thumbs up to help recommend the video would be really appreciated. Subscribe to the Spoon Graphics YouTube channel to stick around for more of my content, and head over to my Spoon Graphics website to bag yourself some free design resources. As always, thank you very much for watching, and I'll see you in the next one.